If you're just starting out in IT, what are the need to know basics? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and I did an IT basics video, I don't know, like a year or two ago and I'll link to that because that video is really, really important. I talked about the actual applications and things that you guys should know like PowerShell, PowerShell is so cool, and Active Directory and Exchange, Outlook, things like that. But what's something else that you should know that's like a total basic that you probably wouldn't even think about? Like something that just doesn't even cross your head, right? And this is like total motivation for you guys, right? And I've talked about this before, but it has to resonate with you guys. You guys have to get this through your head and you have to understand this. And if you don't understand this, this is why I'm doing it again. You don't have to know everything. You're not expected to know everything when you're just starting out and that's okay. You could try to watch every single YouTube video out there and think that you know everything, but you don't. And you can't have the attitude that you do know everything because you don't. That will get you in a lot of trouble. So you guys, when you're just starting out, need to know when to take whatever issue or project that you have that you can't go on to the next step because you don't know. You need to know how. You need to know when. You need to know why, right? Why can't you take it to the next step? How can you take it to the next step? When can you take it to the next step? What is it that you need to get there, right? And I, I say like all of these things and I, I make it very, very vague because basically what you need to know is you have to ask for help, right? Out of all of those things that I just said, all of those things lead to you asking for help and you have to ask for help and that's okay. It's part of just starting out in IT. I've said this so many times, it could make my head spin. Every single business environment is different. And whatever you may have learned in school, whatever you may have learned in an internship, or whatever you may have learned when you volunteered, or whatever you kind of did when your first little job, or whatever it was, it's gonna be completely different from the next one. Whatever policies were set in place at one job might be completely different at the next job. And the way they do things at one job, are gonna be completely different at the next one. It's okay to not know the answers. It's okay. But knowing when and how and why you have to ask for help, that's important. It's important to not let yourself get overwhelmed with the fact that you don't know. And it's also important that you aren't cocky enough to be like, I don't need help and get yourself in trouble because you are trying to do something that you don't know how to do and you end up breaking something. That happens a lot to people who are just starting to get into IT. And unfortunately that happens a lot to people who uh, have been in IT for a long time. Like there's people who have been working in IT for years who just don't ask for help because they're embarrassed, they're afraid. And that has to stop because you get yourself in trouble. And that's just sad. You don't know how to do something, Fine, you don't know how to do it, that's okay. Ask for help before you screw something up. Always, always gotta ask for help. I always ask for help if I don't know how to do something. I never, ever, 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 ever go ask for help until I've researched every single thing I possibly can on how to fix that issue, resolve that issue, or just plain fix it, right? I will Google it. I will YouTube it, every single thing I possibly can, right? I will go out of my way to make sure that I've done my due diligence to try to learn how to fix that thing or figure out how to fix that thing, issue, whatever, before I go to that person and ask for help. Because then I'm gonna say to that person, hey, I've Googled this, I've seen, th these have been like some of the things that have worked for some people, but it's not working for me. You know, what do you suggest? You know, that's how you start these kind of conversations. And it's very, very important that you guys know how to do that also. So I'm kind of 
repeating myself in this video, but I've seen things, heard things, and uh, just recently got asked a question about this. So doing a video about it again, because you have to know this. I want you guys to be successful working in IT. I don't want you guys to fail. I don't want you guys to get overwhelmed. So it's important. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, you know what to do. Hit me up in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Anyway, take it easy.